Shayna here. Welcome to the University of Mary Hardin Baylor, a Christian and historic school. UMHB became a college two months before Texas became a state. How's that for a history lesson? The University of Mary Hardin Baylor is located in the heart of the suburban area of Belton in central Texas, 60 miles north of Austin. Close to Mary Hardin Baylor right here in Belton, we have two really close lakes, uh, Lake Belton and also Stillhouse Hollow Lake. Um, you'll find great recreational activities as well as fishing. If you're more adventurous, there are hiking and mountain bike trails nearby. Mary Hardin Baylor enrolls over 2,500 undergrad students, 60% women and 40% men. The student-to-faculty ratio is 30 to 1, with an average class size of about 30 students or less. You almost know everybody on campus, so that's really nice to feel like in a family. Everybody is different. And that's what I like. There's not a whole bunch of just like black and white. Like there's colorful. There's just everybody. And it's uh, the school itself is just ambiguous. It's it's uh, you come here and there's different qualities. There's the people have different tastes. So it's very just diverse. At Mary Hardin Baylor, it's a three-tiered admissions process. If you're in the top 10% of your graduating class, you're automatically admitted. Uh, if you are in the top half of your graduating class, you'll need a 950, which includes your critical reading and math scores on your SAT, or a 20 on the ACT. And if you're in the bottom half, it's a 990 or a 21. But we're also looking at the well-rounded student. We want someone who's been involved in campus activities uh, at their high school, someone who's going to you know, potentially be a leader and help you and should be out in every way possible too. Mary Hardin Baylor is a private university, so all students pay an annual tuition of $25,500 if they choose to live on campus, and about $20,000 if you live off campus. UMHB offers over 50 different majors, 10 pre-professional programs, 6 graduate programs, and 1 doctoral degree in education. Some of the most popular majors on campus include business, education, Christian studies, and nursing. This lab is where those students put their skills to the test. It's very encouraging to me to see those students that I had five and six years ago now in middle management hiring my students out as new students into, the, into their organizations. And uh, we have individuals in, at Microsoft and, and other locations that are, that are really very helpful in terms of giving us the feedback we need. Tell us, here's the program essentials. These are the things that your program needs to accomplish to be able to get these students where they need to be to be able to meet the challenges of the global economy that we're in. The University of Mary Hardin Baylor employs 141 full-time faculty members. 67% hold their terminal degree. The faculty that they are exposed to every day in the classroom uh, bring a Christian perspective to their various disciplines and uh, at the University of Mary Hardin Baylor over time uh, our students recognize that there's something unique and different about uh, the education we provide here. The UMHB Crusaders, or the crew, compete in the NCAA Division III as a member of the American Southwest Conference. UMHB has the only football team in the ASC Conference that has ever played for a national title. UMHB makes sure their students feel comfortable in their on-campus dorms. This is Haley and she shares a room in private bath. Do you know what other options are there for students living on campus? Um, the guys and girls dorms are actually separate, so the guys have two choices. They can either live in Gettys Hall or um, the other one's McLean. And the McLean Hall is like the storm room show. It's um, a private bath and you share it with one other person. Um, and then the girls dorms are Stribling, which is you can live by yourself. Um, and then there's also Bert and Johnson, which you share a room with another girl. I absolutely love it. Like, I suggest dorm life. Like, I don't, I think everybody should at least experience it. I absolutely adore my roommate and had I not been in the dorm life, I wouldn't have gotten to experience that. All right, Brianna, tell me about your outfit, please. Um, I've recently been dubbed Miss UMHB. Yay. Yes, and uh, it's we do this huge pageant where different organizations on campus and dorms and things like that pick a representative. And we had a group of 21 girls who were together for pretty much the entire semester. And I was Miss McLean Hall, uh -huh. and so I got to represent the guys in it because you know they don't look good in dresses so <laughs> no, but I've seen it. <laughs> you want to try it on? Oh you look At UMHB there are more than 50 clubs and organizations for you to join. If you're in tune with the music scene, concert company is for you. You get to plan, promote, and organize concerts on campus. 
play this once a year and they bring all these like games and, and, and we have free food and <laughs> it's just it's really cool. We have movies going on like this last year there was like an animal farm and you can just go and pet animals. One day they brought a hot, hot air balloon thing so you can go in a hot, hot air balloon. They brought a paintball. That was amazing. I really like paintball. I bet you didn't know, Mary Harden Baylor students are also artists. Students painted this mural alongside the Belton Dam, and it's the largest outdoor mural in the state of Texas. It's huge. Well, guys, it's time to roll out, and thanks to UMHB's community bikes, catching a ride is no problem. So I'm going to cruise around campus and catch you guys next time.